Yo, what is going on guys? Matthew V. Haynes here, aka The Clockmaster. Today we're going to be talking about a movie by the name of Britney Runs a Marathon. So I'm a little bit late on this movie. I'm about a month late. This movie came out about four weeks ago and I finally just got the time to see it today. Uh, I figured, you know, I, I had nothing else to do this week as far as videos planned because Comic-Con is next week and I've been working tirelessly um, for the last two weeks just building my cosplay. So it's been taking a lot of time. So I figured I'll just have a, a pretty uh, good movie review week and go see these movies. So yesterday I did Astra and today we're doing Britney Runs a Marathon. So I figured let's just talk about it for a little bit. So this movie has a lot going for it. Obviously, it's titled Britney Runs a Marathon, and we follow a main character by the name of Britney, and she deals with personal issues with her weight, how she feels about herself, her insecurities, getting healthier, life, love, relationships with friends, family, loved ones, etc. And we just follow this entire journey with her until the end of the movie with the marathon and everything in between there. This movie is based, uh, loosely based off of a real uh, person by the name of Britney who also went through a similar transformation for herself. So in short, guys, I thought this movie was very uh, inspiring, emotional, heartfelt, had a lot of good scenes in between their character moments where you like the character, you relate it to the character, and you wanted to, you know, things to work out for the character you started to see how stuff affected the story with her her friends and how people treated her and you just wanted the best for her and the actress who actually plays britney in this movie uh went through a transformation herself personally losing i think she said about 40 something pounds in the interview i was watching so we got to see her train we got to see her come to that realization of you know why is she doing this am i losing the weight because i want to be healthier am i losing it because of my insecurities am i setting goals for myself because i just you know i, I want to have something to do we get to see her struggle through her work life as an adult trying to figure her life out because it shows that sometimes even when in, in your early early 30s or even even you can be 60 sometimes and haven't even figured out you know what you want to do with your life but i think that's like one of the beauty the beautiful things about life is that you can just go through certain phases in your life and you know uncover certain things about yourself and what you're capable of doing what you like and what you don't like and life is just an exploration so that's kind of what i've been getting from this movie and a lot of films i've been watching lately is that life is an exploration and it's a journey and it's you don't have to do one thing you don't have to be held back with just one specific idea you can do many things throughout your entire life and you can be happy while doing it too this movie for me set uh pass that message on and there's just so much different messages too like be careful who you surround yourself with like who do you have as friends she had a very crappy friend in the beginning of the film and towards the movie she started surrounding herself with people who supported her people who cared about her goals people who shared like interest people who wanted to elevate her and help her you know grow as, as people so that's one of the things i actually made an instagram post about this earlier this week is that you need to surround yourself constantly with people who are going to uh, help motivate you and help so i feel like this movie had more of that vibe where you know you wanted you know you you saw her go through these issues with a horrible friend and then get transformed and and, and to meet other people to help her um with her life and she slowly starts to unfold things with herself and become a better person so this movie guys and um, whenever it comes out on digital because i'm pretty I'm, i don't think it'll be in theater for much longer you definitely need to see this movie man the way how it was shot the artistic approach the music choices wasn't a very uh, a very high budgeted film so it wasn't anything crazy but it kind of had like a, a nice docu drama type uh, of feel to it with the movie and more of a real feel to it it kind of reminds me a little bit of our uh, movies that uh, a lot of these amazon owned films do really good job because a lot of them they get bought from film festivals to people who have like put a lot of heart into their movies so i really appreciated them <laughs> releasing this movie because again it has a very great message a very relatable character a very likable character and you want to see her win and it, it motivates yourself and it motivates me too because you know, even myself personally i back in high school I used to weigh 220 pounds, used to be in a wrestling team. Now I weigh a lot more than that. And I used to be in a lot better shape in high school. And I've been on and off in the gym over the years and different things with like depression and just like self 
um, low self-esteem and all that stuff just kind of comes in between there. And for me to be able to see a character that dealt with, with similar things that I've dealt with personally in my life was very uh, emotional. I actually cried at the end of the movie because to see her hurdle from one part of the of the film starting out one way and ending where she ended, it just made me feel, you know, like there's still hope for people in life. You know, like people can still find their happiness. People can still accomplish their goals. Like me personally, I started going back to the gym. Um, and I said, you know what, let me just, let me just do this three week, you know, one week, one week without, without stopping at least three to four days without stopping and not making an excuse, getting up every day and just going to the gym. And so far we're three weeks in and we're going, we're going good and we're doing, we're doing the thing. Like I'm very proud of myself. So, um, I'm, you know, happy to see, like, again, this movie can relate to so many people, including myself. And I'm, I'm you know, I'm not a female, um, I didn't deal with a lot of the stuff she dealt with, but just as a human being, uh, dealing with how you know insecurities and how you felt about your weight like I've always been insecure about my weight I've always been insecure about, about myself So I love seeing characters that I can relate to and this movie had a lot of emotion in it, a lot of emotional stuff in there um, That I really appreciated so all in all guys this movie is all I can really say about the movie man Other than that you just got to really watch it. I love the acting the acting is very uh, relatable and realistic love the cast members love the supporting cast uh, love so you know I just loved everyone in this movie did a really good job with it um, definitely go watch this movie if you get a chance to see it go and watch it uh, especially if you need, you know if you want to see a movie like that it's very good I would rate this movie a nine of a nine out of ten like a ninety percent out of a hundred very good I mean I would actually say it's a perfect movie just because of the underlying message I can't really find too many negatives with the film uh, because a lot of stuff was uh, you know brought over to us in, in a realistic way so a little bit of my bias is coming in between there but i really enjoyed the film anyways guys thank you so much for watching this movie review i appreciate it let me know your thoughts down below if you enjoyed this video and if you're coming across my channel for the first time please consider checking out some of the other stuff on my channel and i'll see you in the next one clockmaster out